guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today we are going to be doing a set on Rosie here you can buy Rosie from my website www.idolgirl.co.uk that will be linked in the video and it will also be in the description box down below I'm just using the coffin white tips on here and I've just filed them and rounded them off to be a nice oval shape I'm trying to do you know different sets and different shapes and whatnot so it's not always the exact same shape so today we're doing oval you can also get those from my website now this is the color we are going to be featuring today it is surf by glam and glitz and this uh, color I am very in love with you can get six percent off from the nail tech network and the discount code down below is just idle girl but it will all be linked down below and yes the website and all that jazz so go over and get yourself a bargain you can get some glam and glitz and some Kiara sky and get yourself a nice bargain Woo, we all love a good bargain I'm also using the Mia Secret white acrylic and the Mia Secret clear acrylic which you can get from idolgirl.co.uk I'll try and leave some links for those as well and yes, I'm also using this glitter, which is just flipping gorgeous. It went so perfectly with this set, I'm not even joking. These will hopefully eventually be available on Idol Girl, so always check the website out. There's always new stuff getting added, so yeah. So yeah, wait till you see the glitter though. I love it. I'm going in to start with, with just the purple shade. This video is really just to show you this shade and show you what we can do with it. So this nail is just going to be a full nail of this purple. Working really wet with the Glam and Glitz, the same as with the Mia Secret colours. You want to work really wet and just paint them on and obviously do a couple of coats so that you've got a nice opaque look. Moving on to this nail, I'm going to do a French fade sort of ombre nail with a glitter swirl or like S type shape on the nail. So I'm first going in with my white and I'm just putting it at the tip and then blending it up towards the cuticle area. I will then go in with the purple and I will set that at the cuticle area and I will blend that down. I found these colours a little bit harder to work with, obviously it's quite a bright purple. So blending it in with the white was a little bit difficult, but yeah, just work it until you're happy with the fade and the blend I guess.
I do find that patting the colours kind of helps them blend together a little bit. I don't know if that's just me, if I'm being weird, but yeah, I do, that's the thing that I tend to do if I can't get a good swiping fade. <laughs> so, moving on to the next nail. This, of course, is going to be a marble nail. So I'm just using the white and the purple and I'm just going to put them on really wet, as wet as I can basically and just blob them on. I probably should have worked even wetter than I did but it worked out fine. And yeah, just pulling them together, swirling them together to get a nice marble effect. Since I love marble so much, I wanted to try out something a little bit different. So I decided to try and do a different kind of marble on this nail and I basically just kind of striped the colours on, if that makes sense. Um, it ends up looking similar, but there is a difference, like you can tell a difference. I think I prefer the other type of marble, but yeah, just like putting one colour on in a line diagonally and then another one diagonally and so on and then just marbling them together slightly as well you will find that they'll run together anyway because they're so wet and it kind of does it for you a little bit but yeah that's just what I'm going to do on this nail and then we'll add some glitter to this one too So I'm taking that purple and silver glitter and I'm now going to put it on this nail. I want to cover the blend because obviously the blend wasn't perfect. So I'm taking it and I'm just like swirling it over the blend area, like the join area. I just think this this was my favourite nail, like for definite. It just looked so good. I love the way that the, um, like the swirl went and I think basically like taking it thinner on the edges and then thicker in the middle and I just think it looks really good and I just think these glitters literally looked perfect with the purple and the white so yeah love it so that is just what we're going to do with this nail here I'm then going to take just a really little bit of glitter and I'm going to go on to the the pointer finger and I'm just taking the glitter over I'm kind of just taking it over the purple parts of the marble so leaving the white uh, pretty clear and just taking the glitter over the purpley parts in this marble nail and I just think it adds a little bit of balance to the nail you know and now it's time to cap the nail so i'm just gonna go in with all the nails and just cap them in the clear acrylic 
there's not really much to say about this. I'm still working on my capping. I'll be working on my capping forever, probably. <laughs> Some days work better than others, but yeah. I will just let you guys watch me cap the nails and then we'll be back to file them.
Once I capped all the nails, I decided to come in with my nail drill and just debulk a little bit with this. I, yeah, basically I'm just debulking. I am going to go in with my regular hand file and do most of like the shaping and everything. But I thought I'll just have a little play with the e file. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like practice with it a little bit and get a little bit better with it. I do want to do a course as I keep saying to you all, but yeah. So I'm going in with the e-file first and then I'm going to come in with my regular file and just shape the size, the cuticle, contour it all, just get it all nice and smooth and how I want it basically. And yeah, I, bas I do most of that with the hand file. I come in and buff over all the nails, try really smooth them out and get rid of any scratches and unsmoothness. Then taking some acetone on a lint-free wipe, I'm going to just wipe over the nails and get rid of any dust and also smooth out that top layer just a wee little bit and then it is going to be time to top coat. So I'm using my Colour Couture top coat here as usual and I'm just going to top coat all of the nails and then going to cure them and wipe over with some gel residue wipe off solution and that will be the end result but I really like let's just watch the reveal of this glitter nail here because I'm just so excited about it. Ah, I just love this nail I think it looks so good. And just such a simple thing to do as well, but really effective, so yeah. So I will let you watch me top coat the rest of the nails. And this is the finished result. What do you guys think? What do you think of the colour? What do you think of the colours together, including the glitter? I really like it and that is definitely my favourite nail right there with the glitter on it. I just love it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please leave me some comments down below. Let me know which is your favourite nail. And also, please like this video because it really does help me out when y'all do that. If you're not already subscribed, please, I would love for you to join this little family and hit that subscribe button and also the bell button. Your support means everything to me and you guys are literally just the best in the entire world. So yeah, I thought I would just tell you all that as I do in every video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I will see you all in the very next video. Goodbye.